What I learned from being a parent is unconditional love that I did not know existed on such a deep level until our son came into our lives. Tonight, as police search for the parents of an abandoned baby, we're hearing for the first time from the man who found the child at a subway station in Chelsea. I didn't think that it was a, a, a real baby. I was coming through the turnstile, um, and I was glancing, and I kept watching as I was walking up the stairs, and all of a sudden he started to move. This particular night, I was coming uh, to meet Pete after work. So as I was coming out uh, and leaving the train station, I glanced over my shoulder and I noticed that there was a bundle on the ground and I thought you know I just saw two little legs sticking out of this bundle and I'm thinking it's a doll that some little girl left and I'm continuing to walk up and the stairs and I look back one more time and that's when the legs moved so I knew it wasn't a doll um, but a baby so I rushed back down I loosened the sweatshirt that he was wrapped up in made sure he's breathing okay and then I tried to alert others that are going through to what has happened that I you know there's a baby here to call the police. So like I said we went on with our lives and it was about six weeks later that I get this call from the attorney with ACS, the Administration for Children's Services, saying uh, we would like for you to come in to do, do a to provide your testimony of what happened. We are proceeding with terminating the biological parents rights, even though no one's come forward, this is what we need to do so that the baby can be um, placed up for adoption. So I, I go in, go into court, I tell um, exactly what happened. And, you know, it was like one or two minutes later, I'm done with my testimony. And the judge um, addresses me directly. She said, Mr. Stewart, I want to let you know what's happening here. In situations where we have a baby that's been abandoned, we would have liked to place that baby in pre-adoptive foster care. Um, and in my head, I'm thinking that makes a lot of sense. And then the next thing out of her mouth was, would you be interested in adopting this baby? And of course, I wasn't expecting this question. No, the attorneys were not expecting this question. Also, all eyes are on me and looking to see how I'm going to respond. And I said, well, yes, but I don't think it's that easy. And <laughs> she chuckled and she said, well, it can be. If you're interested in adopting, you need to come back, state your intention at the next hearing. His parents, prior to his birth, had given birth to stillborn, and that baby's name was Kevin. So Pete has always felt like this character Kevin, this um, this brother that he never knew, was always an angel in, in his life. And as and a, and a person by the name of Kevin has come into his life at particular moments and like life-changing moments for him. So it was a very significant name, and after hearing the story, I said, of course, his name should be Kevin. Um, so when we shared the news that we were going to become parents with my parents, I said, remember the baby that Danny found last August? Well, we're going to adopt him. And then Danny said, let us tell you what we're going to name him. And... Um, just an emotional moment. And we said his name was going to be Kevin. My mom just burst out of tears. Yeah, she started crying. Yeah. And my dad's whole tune changed from this cautionary tale to um, there's something special about this kid. I can't quite put my finger on it, but there's something special about this kid. And if you guys need anything, we're here to help. Um, so, yeah, names have significance. I hope it inspires people who may be going through the process of wanting to adopt or have kids or foster or or any situation in life to just sort of take a deep breath and just believe that anything is possible. You know, we didn't know what the reaction to this book was going to be. And I think it surprised us. Mm -hmm. 
yeah. um, in a way that caught us a little off guard. We've received a lot of emails and a lot of people reaching out saying how inspired they are. And, I, you know, I thought this was a s small little story that our family and friends were going to enjoy, right? That's really all I thought. And when we figured out that it's providing people hope and inspiring them, I thought, okay, that has been particularly we've, we've remarkable some way. Yeah. because of the reactions from, particularly in places where there's not the same types of freedoms that we have here in New York, particularly, but in the United States. Um, so we've been hearing folks from around the world where they've, it, this has given them hope, the story, and the possibility um, even for seeing positive depictions of LGBT folks that has been, and, and in this way, that has been so inspiring and so touching and heartwarming for us to hear how this has impacted others around the world. It's just been incredible.